Hi beautiful human beings, here is Didi from Yoga Fitter and Stronger Forever. How are you today? How is the energy? Welcome back to my page and my channel. So uh, St. Valentine's Day is approaching soon and um, if you want to know why you still haven't found a girlfriend or the love of your life to spend the rest of your life with, I really recommend you to stick to this video. If you are just dropping onto my channel and you don't know who I am, well, my name is Didi. I'm a yoga, pilates, dance instructor. And my mission on this planet is to remove blocks that prevent people to uh, enjoy their life fully and to be happy and to uh, really find their true purpose in life. So, um, it's very frustrating for a lot of people and especially men uh, on this planet is the fact that St. Valentine's Day is coming and they still haven't found somebody to uh, spend the night with and to enjoy a nice dinner. And I think it's really important to talk about it. So if you are in this situation, um, I will, I'm going to give you eight reasons and the best reason is at the end of this video. So if you want to find out um, how to get a girlfriend before St. Valentine's Day or to get the love of your life or your soulmate or your twin flame, stick to this video until the end. So the first reason why you don't have a girlfriend or a boyfriend is because you can't express emotions. Um, so I see a lot of uh, men, okay, uh, because I specialize in men, um, they, they are unable to tell you what they want, they are unable to tell you what they need, they are unable to reveal any vulnerability about themselves. And for that reason, when you have a conversation with them, it is very hard for them to confide in you. This is one, the number one reason, okay? The, number, the, the first reason is because they are uh, really unable to really open, um, to let it out, to let something uh, vulnerable about themselves because they are afraid that uh, we're going to laugh at them or we're going to manipulate them we're going to try to control them. So this is very difficult for men, especially, okay, uh, to, um, to be controlled, to, to, to feel like they are not in control of the situation. And for that reason, no emotion can come out. The second reason and the second tip I'm going to give you. Um, so a lot of, because they have those issues, okay, because it's very difficult for them to uh, let's say, express their emotions, um, this is really strange because for some of them, they are actually forcing emotions to come out. But it is not authentic. And um, what comes out is actually love bombing attitude. So love bombing, I'm, I'm just uh, saying, so um, if you can't have a girlfriend, uh, it's because you are too overwhelming. You are actually, uh, in some ways, showing too much of your emotions, which are not real emotions, by the way. And so uh, I tell you, a typical conversation would be, oh, you know, hi, my name is uh, George and uh, I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. Uh, uh, and I miss you, and I don't know you, but it doesn't matter. I miss you, and um, can you can you have sex with me? Okay, so this is really a typical uh, behavior that most of uh, men that that have issues and that can't get a girlfriend will come up with, meaning they want to show the other uh, person on the other side of the of the screen or face to face or any anywhere in any situation uh they will show you that they are have 
a lot of emotions in the body, but unfortunately, they are not real and it's coming out very fake and non authentic. Okay? Uh, that's what we call love bombing. Love bombing. Okay? Bombard you of love, make you think that you are number one in their heart and they'll never talk to you before. <laughs> this is really relevant. Okay. So remember that I will reveal the best tip and the number one reason why you can get a girlfriend or a boyfriend, okay? Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll talk about it later. So the n number third, okay, reason, and I kept on talking about it for so many times in my previous videos. And for some reason, this is something that is ingrained and uh, it is inside uh, blood and it's very, very hard to get rid of it. It's arrogance. So if you are a man, okay, uh, roughly approaching 30 years old, you don't have a girlfriend, uh, I would say, uh, <clears throat> it's because you are arrogant. So if you don't know what arrogance means, I really deeply recommend you to check in the dictionary. Uh, arrogant means that you know everything, you've done everything, you are very strong, man, um, and you are going to save her by talking to her and she would be a fool not to go out with you on a date this is really really gonna put off a lot of women so you get really lucky if you manage to get one to listen to you so arrogance is really typical in men and i can tell you i have seen loads of handsome they are usually, they're actually very handsome most of the time. They're very beautiful and very handsome, but they are so arrogant that you don't want to be near them. Okay? <laughs> so I know I have friends, okay, girlfriends, when the man is actually too beautiful, this is putting them off and it is like a red flag. They would not go even near them. Because they know that if they are single and they are handsome, but very handsome, there is something wrong about it. Okay, the number number four. Can't and don't know how to give, give love and they don't know what women need. So once again, if you haven't watched my previous videos, I talk about this about my previous videos. So if you want to get a girlfriend for St. Valentine's Day, okay, or for your life, for the rest of your life, but I would say at the moment, there is a rush to get a girlfriend for St. Valentine's Day. Remember that. Uh, find out what she need. Find out what she likes. It doesn't mean that you're going to have to do everything that she likes. But if you want her to have an interest in you, the first thing to do is to find out what she likes and what she needs. Okay, so if you talk about football, if you talk about all the handstand position and all the acrobatic things that you can do, like I'm Superman and I'm coming and I'm going to come to save you. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to happen because at the end, there won't be any emotions behind it. So she will be put off and she will leave you. Okay, the number five tip, okay? So number one reason why you can't get a girlfriend uh, would be because you can't face your problems or you don't want to admit that you have a past uh, problems, uh, childhood issues, maybe they haven't been uh, acknowledged yet, maybe you still, maybe you don't know yet that you have problems, but I can guarantee you if you are nearly 30 years old and you can't get a girlfriend to spend St. Valentine's with, there is really, I'm not saying that all men, because they are lonely, 
I'm not saying that all of them have problems, but I'm just saying there is really a good chance if you're reaching 30 years old and you're alone for St. Valentine's and you are even say, oh, me, I'm happy, I'm alone, and I'm so happy to be alone. <laughs> I'm telling, I can guarantee you, your heart is blocked and your mind is trying to convince you that you're more happy on your own. But I can guarantee you, when St. Valentine's is coming, you will not think that way. Because the heart has its way to tell you that you need connections. Okay? Everybody needs connections. Especially for St. Valentine's Day. Okay. Um, another reason would be, uh, so it's the number six reason. <clears throat> So I give you reason, but there are also tips, okay, behind it. There is a tip behind it. Uh, enable to believe and to build a relationship with anyone. So most of the time, if you have problems to find a girlfriend, um, I'm not saying all men, okay, on this planet, but a lot of men uh, have issues with relationship in general. Meaning you cannot connect with anybody around you. Uh, you have some problem to build a strong relationship with people. Sometimes you have problem with your own family. Um, you are distant from your family. Uh, you had conflict with your past friends. This is really relevant. Okay. Or you can, okay. It happens as well that you have too many friends. Okay. And so you don't have time for a girlfriend, but it's because you don't want to make time for a girlfriend. Okay. So once again, uh, another reason. Okay. The seventh reason, the seventh reason why you can't get a girlfriend is because you are too obsessed with yourself. You are obsessed with yourself. You spend too much time, uh, trying to improve yourself that uh, there is no time for somebody else in your life okay so if you are really obsessed about yourself you 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 just don't like the image that comes out of you um there is really th this is not really fair for yourself because you can't find the time you don't even want to invest time to find somebody else because it's too much for you okay it's too much you just don't want to find the time but at the same time uh you are in your little environment and uh, this is comfy this is safe um uh, and you just maybe you actually also convince yourself that you don't need it uh so this this is really uh common right now okay uh well and especially because we say okay you happy we should be happy on our own we don't need anybody <laughs> so this is another thing in the media is everybody's gonna tell you you don't need anybody you can just love yourself i love myself so much that actually i end up uh, alone for saint valentine's day it doesn't matter i don't need anybody Okay, so there is really a big problem if you are, are alone and you are obsessing too much about your appearance, about what you can do in your life, um, believing that you're not strong enough and that maybe you will be strong enough and you will be able to find somebody in the future, but very, very far away, not now, okay? <laughs> big reason. Okay, the last one, so I kept the best one for the end, okay? So if you are staying until the end of this video, well, well done, well done, because this is really hard for a lot of people right now. Okay, the number eight reason why you can't get a girlfriend uh, is because you can't get close to her and you don't know how to get close to her meaning you don't know how to build this uh, intimate relationship. You don't know how to uh, keep her interested. You don't know what you need to do 
to keep her interested. You don't know uh, how to be deep with her spiritually. I mean, deep with her. You don't know what you need to give her to to, to make her love you. Uh, so it is very recurrent. And once again, uh, if you are not even able to face it and to accept it and to recognize it, it is more alarming. It is more serious because it can go on and go on and go on for many, many more years. And I tell you, it destroys life. A lot of people I know, they have passed 40, 50 years old. They are on their own. Okay, they have their little routine, but they are unable to get close to anybody around them. And it's killing them inside, but outside, they will not show anything. They will not show any emotions. Okay, so I hope it was helpful. Don't forget that you can drop me any comment below this video. Uh, I will be more than happy to hear from you. Um, I wish you a very good weekend. And then I will see you next time. Namaste.